This video will look at the project document browser and model tree functionality in Vertex BD. These are found to the left of the workspace and have tabs to swap between them. We will begin with the project document browser. At the top of the tree, the project name is displayed and then there are various branches for different document types. Right clicking the project name will give you access to project management options such as reverting to previous revisions of the project. While settings will give access to the project parameters, 3D levels and other options. It is possible to access any generated drawing sheet, panel drawing or report associated with the project. This can be done by going to the appropriate branch, using the plus symbols, then clicking the file you wish to open. Alternatively, you can use the right click contextual menu to update the drawing amongst other commands. The model tree will show all objects in any active model or drawing and content will vary depending on if the 2D or 3D is active. There is a drop down menu at the top which allows you to select different filters. When something is selected it will have a blue background whereas if the object is hidden it will be greyed out. Similarly, an object that isn't currently visible, perhaps because it is in a different model or modeling pair from the active working window, will have blue text. In the model tree, the project is broken down by story, and you can see and select the various element types in sub-branches within the main story branch. I can click on a sub-branch or main story branch to select it, and choose hide or hide others from the right-click menu to hide that flaw, whilst restore will bring them back. This can make working in 3D much easier. This concludes our video on the model tree and project document browser. Thank you for watching.